Hi everyone, my name is Ankush and welcome back to Learnomate Technologies YouTube channel. So today's topic is quite uh, the basic one, but again, uh, I know that there are many people those who are quite new and they want to start the career into the Oracle DBA. So whenever you go for an interview, the people will ask you like, uh, do you got any chance to install the Oracle database on the production environment? Um, yeah, definitely you should say yes, because if you go for an interview and if you're saying that you didn't get the chance, the interviewer will not listen you and he will think that okay you do not have much experience or you do not have confidence to install the oracle database on production environment so certain things that you need to consider that what is the database version you want to install as of now you just say that you are installing oracle 90c again there are multiple versions are available like you have uh, 919g 11g 12c 19c 21c 23 ai but as of now like most of the people they are using still 19c so you can say that yes you got an opportunity to install oracle database 19c now where you are installing right on which on which server what is the operating system you guys are using let me show you this practically so whenever you want to do the installation of oracle database like basically what you need you need one operating system now this operating system can be anything like it can be your red hat linux it can be your oracle linux Sometimes it can be your Windows server also. Okay. Um, as of now, I'm using Oracle Enterprise Linux 7.9 version. And here on the top of that, I'm going to install my Oracle 19C database. So whenever you want to do the installation of Oracle 19C database, first of all, you should have a software to be installed. So what I'm trying to say here is, let's say you want to install 19C database now. So what do you want? You want 19C database. So you need to install the 19C software. What do you need to do? You need to install 90C software. If you have 90C software available, then you can install multiple database. Let's take an example. Here the database name is DB1. Here the database name is DB2. And let's say I want to install one more database with the name DB3. So all the database will be of version 19C only. Assume that somebody is saying that can I install Oracle 12C database with this 90C software? No. For that, you need to add one more software here. That is 12C software. And then you can install 12C database. Now, just to show you practically how we can do that, what I did, first of all, I have installed this Oracle Enterprise Linux 7.9. Let me take the SSH of this server. So I'll use this fave Oracle. Let me open it. Login with Oracle. Here I have already uploaded my software and my software is available in this Oracle home. So if I go here and if I do ls LRT, I can see the software is available. This is a software which I already installed. Now, if I want to install a database, just call DBCA. So DBCA is the utility which is mainly useful database configuration assistant for the installation of database software. When I open this pop-up, I can see here on the right hand side, 19C is mentioned. So it means I have a software which is of 19C. There is an option called create a database. Do you want to create a database? Yes, I want to create a database. You can create a database by using the template also. If you have existing template, you can use that. I don't want to do that. What do you want to do? Just click on the advanced configuration. What database you want to install? Whether you want to install the rag database, whether you want to install the single instance database. As of now, I want to do the installation of single instance. Rack is a high availability concept. If you don't know, don't worry about that. We'll discuss in future classes. Click on next. What is the database name you want to give? Whatever database name you want to give. Like let's say the default database name is ORCL. ORCL. Do you want to create this as a container database? So this container database architecture has been introduced starting from Oracle 12C, where you will have a container. Under the container, you will have a pluggable database. I know it's very difficult to make you understand about this concept in a short way, but <laughs> we do not have a time, right? So I don't want to create it as a container. Let's create it as a non-container database. Okay. If you want to create as a container, so you can mention the container name and your pluggable database name. Let's keep it non-container database. Click on next. Now, when you do the installation of database, it will generate your database related files like your SP file, control files, data files, where you want to store. I want to store it under Oracle base or our data. Now this location I have specified into my batch profile. Click on next. Do you want to create a fast recovery area? No, I don't want to do that. Now, do you want to use the listener? So on my database, already a listener is running. So I'll use the single listener. A listener is mainly responsible to take remote connection. One listener is more than enough 
to handle multiple databases okay so i'll use the same listener listener is not running okay let's uncheck that we can configure it later on also click on next click on next so this is a database memory whenever you are doing the database installation in order to run your database you need to allocate some memory to the database we call it as a sga and uh, why we need the memory because let's say there is a user one he is getting connected to the database you are performing dml operations ddl operations many operations you are performing so in order to process your request a database required a memory so that memory we called it as sga so sga is normally 40% of your ram whatever you are allocating to the server pje is again like let's say the user is performing some temporary operations like sorting group by so first of all it will use your pga uh, this pga is something dedicated to your database and if the pga is not sufficient then it will use the temp table space now do you want to allocate the number of processes the the maximum number of processes by default 300 you can increase it 400 500 no problem but you also need to understand that how much resources you allocate to the database this is all about the character set like what all languages are supported by your database whether you can insert a data related to the english china us so this is kind of standard character set okay be very careful when you design the character set or when you select the character set because changing a character set is quite difficult so be ready for that click on next click on next and whenever you do the installation of database by default some of the administrator users are getting created automatically like sys system in the real-time production environment we generally keep a different different password for sys we keep separate password this is a user we call it as an administrator user through which you can start database shut down database you can make the changes to the database i'll keep the same password as oracle i don't want to make it complicated because it is just a test environment do you want to create a database yes so whatever options which you have selected everything is set over here most of the options you can make the changes after the database installation also so don't worry about that now here my database installation is in progress it will take around 15 to 20 minutes depend upon the resources you have allocated if you want to know about your log like when your database installation is in progress sometimes like your database installation get failed so it's good to see the log file i'll check this alert log file i'll copy that and let me open a duplicate tab login with oracle let's tell it tail hyphen 100f and this log file so what is happening behind the scene when the database installation is in progress now i can see it very very clearly here that makes my life easy it like you can see the, your database is getting started with mount stage and basically it is trying to create your control file and all these things are happening behind the scene so when you do the, any database installation or anything it is good practice to check your log file also apart from this i know that you have many questions many things you want to ask please ask your question in the comment section or you can join our whatsapp group also and again we are starting a new batch of oracle dba so do you want to start your career as oracle dba without any coding skill set and you have a gap in your career don't worry about that learnomate can help you to change your career as oracle dba and you can expect a very good package without writing down a single line of code thank you